Have you ever wondered in heavy rains and clouds how an airplane doesn't strike by lightning? But the fact is, airplanes do get struck with lightning quite often. It is estimated that on average, each commercial airplane lightly struck with lightning more than once a year. So how it can survive with a such powerful encounter? Welcome to Mindscape. When it comes to lightning and airplane, it is not that lightning attacks the aircraft. In the contrary, an airplane traveling in a heavy clouds actually triggers the lightning. But smaller business and private planes have reported to stroke by lightning less frequently, simply because they are small in size compared to commercial planes. The last time lightning was directly responsible for plane crash was in 1967 when lightning caused explosion in fuel tank. But after that, a lot of research and improvement has been done by technical experts in the field. Today, there are lightning safety tests are conducted, and with a proper verification, a safety certification is given to each individual craft. But what actually happens when lightning strikes to airplane? When it strikes, all the passengers and crew may see flash and hear a loud noise, but usually nothing serious happens. When lightning strikes, one of the extremity of the plane, either the front nodes or the rear wing tip, receives the current. This current of lightning travels through exterior skin and structure of the aircraft and exit off from the opposite extreme end. The craft act as a medium to transport the current from one end to another and then into the clouds. It is harmless unless this current get access into the internal parts and to avoid this access, the engineer experts came with a solution. Most aircraft skins is made primarily of aluminum, which conducts electricity very well. By making sure that no gaps exist in the conductive part, the engineer can assure that most of the lightning current will remain on the exterior of the aircraft. Modern passenger jets have miles of wires and dozens of computers and some other instrument that control everything from engine to the passenger's headsets. And to avoid disruption to this important part of the system, lightning protection is given to the system which connects to important equipments. So even in extreme condition, if external protection compromised, the internal functional organs remains intact. And this can simply avoid the plane crash. Every circuit and small piece of equipment which is essential for safe flight and landing of aircraft is verified by the manufacturer. They check each part is protected against lightning with the standard regulation of a concerned aviation authority of a particular country. The other main area of concern is the fuel system where even a tiny spark could be disastrous. Engineers thus take extreme precaution to ensure that lightning current cannot cause sparks in any portion of the aircraft's fuel system. So the aircraft skin around the fuel tank is made very thick, so thick that it can remain intact even in an everything around get burned. As sparks generates from friction of two things, it can be dangerous if any kind of continuous friction is there in the structure. That's why all the structural joints and fasteners are tightly designed, so there will be no friction and spark at all. All fuel filter caps, access doors and vents are tested and designed to withstand lightning. All the pipes and fuel lines that carry fuel to engine are protected against lightning. In addition, new fuel is widely used that produce less explosive vapors. When it comes to lightning or a general functioning of the aircraft, radom stands as a critical part of the craft. Radom is the nose of the plane, which is located on the front pass part of the plane. This nose contains radar and other flight instruments. If you don't know what is radar, radar is an object detection system that uses radio waves to determine the range, angle or velocity of objects. It can be used to detect aircraft, ships, spacecraft, guided missiles, motor vehicles, weather formations, and terrain. So without radar, the craft is almost blind. But in order to function, radar cannot be contained within the conductive enclosure. On the other hand, 
to protect craft against lightning conductive material is necessary. To solve this problem, lightning diverter strips are applied along the outer surface of the nose to protect this area. So when lightning strikes on the nose, these stripes transfer the lightning current to other conductive part of the plane and the current gets off from the rear end. Diverter strips function like a lightning rod on a building. If you really like this video, please pat on my back by giving a thumbs up.